Welcome back. More proof tonight China is violating basic human rights on our soil without consequence. For some reason, the FBI and DOJ give Chinese intelligence a pass here in America. A group called Safeguard Defender just released a report showing the Chinese have set up police stations in 110 countries around the world. There's at least one in New York, at least one that we know about. If this sounds familiar, it's because we have warned you about Xi Jinping's kidnappings abroad since May. Beijing, of course, disregards basic human rights in their country as a matter of course. But a new op-ed from the Wall Street Journal shows the communist regime is using some of the same tactics in America. Back then, we knew of about 10,000 forced repatriations dating back to 2014, 1,200 last year alone. This new report, 230,000 Chinese nationals were persuaded by very questionable means to return home over the past 15 months. In one case, Chinese authorities held the fugitives' children in mainland China after they came to visit family members still living there. In other cases, a defector may find a threatening note left on their door in the United States. Basically says, come back voluntarily or we'll bring you back. These are people who escaped to America to find freedom and to talk about how awful the Chinese Communist Party is and to perhaps tell us about some of their human rights violations, like the Uyghurs. That's what the Chinese do. A Hong Kong activist living in Canada just told lawmakers about what is happening right under their noses. Listen just for a second. Not only what she says, but the fear in her voice. They openly doing that because there's no legislation. There's nothing to deter them. They can intimidate people like us. I've been living in Canada for many decades. Now I feel frightened. She should. The Chinese act with impunity. Matthew Whitaker is here, former acting attorney general. Is it that we don't know about how the Chinese are acting and who these people are in America, or we just won't do anything about it? Well, it's good to be with you tonight, yeah. Leland. Uh, first of all, we know what they're doing, and this is something that's been going on for some time. The, the new news that I think is a, a real concerning issue is the police stations, including in the United States, that the uh, Communist Party of China has opened up uh, in order to uh, do these fox hunting uh, 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 issues. Because while we know and we have FBI agents who are to counter um, a lot of these actions in the United States, obviously it is uh, dramatically concerning when they're that organized and across over 100 nations and have you know police officers stationed in other countries to remit political dissonance. I mean, if you think about one of the main values the United States has been founded on, and that is, is you know, an ability to have political freedom and an ability to, to speak out against uh, injustice. And th in this case, it's quite the opposite. And, and we should make sure that the Chinese don't accomplish this, at least in the United States, and hopefully in other freedom-loving countries. Right. You think about the, the, the Chinese government, right, is sort of like an octopus, and that is, is that everything serves the, the central communist party in Beijing. Uh, and they don't, they don't really believe in any rules as they do this. You think about uh, the Chinese researcher arrested at the Houston consulate. You think about the, the various other types of uh, ways they steal U.S. and not only U.S. intelligence, try to infiltrate our power grid, try to infiltrate other sensitive academic sites and research, corporate espionage. It all feeds back to the communists in Beijing. But yet we don't hear about arrests every day of Chinese spies. Why is that? Well, first of all, those counter-espionage cases uh, are oftentimes done under the radar, and oftentimes uh, you're not going to hear about it why, when why, we for, stop Forgive me uh, for interviewing, but why is that? Why not make an example of all of these people every time? Yeah, and I, 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 I think, it, again, the people that would publicize that is the FBI and the Department of Justice and the CIA, and I think sometimes they don't want to let people know uh, their means and methods for doing that. But, you know, at the same time, uh, you know, this is something that's inconsistent with international norms and standards. And if China wants to be part of the world and and participate in all the things uh, that nation, you know, first world nations have, then they're going to have to uh, meet those norms that they are so woefully uh, inconsistent with right now, Leland. Yeah, and you think about it, it's not, of course, just with police stations. It's also Chinese intelligence and using Chinese yeah. citizens in the United States and sort of preying upon the openness of our society to, to overcome. The, the Chinese mm -hmm. uh, were the subject of a Senate Intel report. Uh, in it, they, they called the Chinese the 600-pound gorilla, right? The Iranians, the, the, the Russians, uh, 
everybody else kind of doesn't matter as compared to the Chinese. Is it just uh, China, however, is the 600 pound gorilla in the room and has launched a full scale campaign to develop or acquire technologies it deems critical to its national interest? When you read that, it kind of sounds sanitized, like it doesn't really matter. Why does every American need to care what the Chinese are doing, it, doing and that our government right now isn't making them pay a price? Well, they should be concerned because obviously not only is that taking a lot of American money, time and effort to develop the technologies they're trying to steal, but it also, I think, points to the fact that China is trying to dominate uh, ultimately and be the superpower and, and, and encounter the United States and, and all of that that brings with it. You can talk about the, the strength of the dollar right now, which happens to be doing very well, but China and Russia clearly do not want the dollar to be the world standard uh, in the trading of uh, petro petroleum or other products. And so, you know, there's just a lot of things that China is trying to do all at one time. To your point on the on the octopus, they're trying to do a lot of different things all at once, mm -hmm. uh, all with the ends to put them in the number one position and really push down the United States and our dominance globally. Yeah. Well, you, you know better than most uh, in terms of what, not only what they have done, but what they're capable of. Uh, former Acting yeah. Attorney General Matt Whitaker, good to see you, sir. Thank you, and thanks for taking the time. All right, let's do it again soon, Leland. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.